now the next thing you want to know how to do is actually do a buy and selling order so under the sport wallet is where you see all the different coins that you have right you see every different type of coin that binance has listed and you can easily search if a coin is available here by clicking on the search button and typing the name of the coin so if i wanted to buy ftm i will click on ftm and i will see ftm which is phantom and then i can click on it and i'll see how to actually buy it that's using usdt i always advise that you go with usdt if you don't know what you're doing so just go with ftm slash usdt it means that you are buying ftm and you're selling your usdt right so what happens if you come in here and you don't find a coin that you're looking for if you don't find the coin that you're looking for that simply means that the coin is not on binance and i will do a video showing you how to actually find coins when they are not on binance it, it, the video will cover how to buy any type of coin that you're actually looking for even if you don't see it on binance but now let's let me show you how to actually execute a buying and a selling order so let me use ftm for an example you can either assess the ftm from this place which i showed you by typing ftm here and go to ftm or at the bottom of your screen right you can click on the markets or trade so i'm going to click on trade because i want to trade ftm so now i'm going to click on the, at the top where it says tlm slash usdt i'll click on it and then i will search for ftm and i'll click on ftm slash usdt so here is the simple dialog box for buying and selling ftm for usdt and this applies to every single token that you want to buy on binance once you want to buy all that you need to do is just set a limit price the limit price means that the market will not collect liquidity from you and it's advice that you actually buy low and you sell high that is how you make money when you buy and sell a coin so you can see on this on the left side of the screen the price has started going up is already at 2.04 2.039 it keeps on fluctuating as more buyers and sellers are coming but if i want to buy at a lower price let's say i don't want to buy close to the top right now i can move the price down to 2.03 2.030 and i will say i want to buy maybe 20 ftm at that price so what this means is that if the price gets to 2.030 right if the price of ftm gets to 2.030 let me buy 20 of it and 20 of it means that i'm spending how much 40.6 usdt so if the price gets to 2.030 i want to buy 20 ftm for 40.6 usdt and then i'll click on buy ftm and as you can see my order would now be created i'll have an order created now so you can see my order has been created it's called a limit order to buy so if the price ever gets down to 2.030 this order will be executed and then you will start uh, as my usdt which i spent right now will be converted into ftm the same thing goes for selling so if the price goes down to 2.030 and i now want to sell when the price comes up to 2.050 i can now also say i want to sell my 20 usdt sorry i want to sell my what i want to sell the usdt that i actually bought for 40 i want to sell it now right so you can see when the price now goes up to 2.050 i will sell those 20 um now i'll sell all my ftm which i bought initially right i'll sell all my ftm so that's just how to understand buying and selling of tokens it's very very easy to do another thing i want to show you here before we end this video is how to use the oco order the oco order is very very good because it helps you to set your take profits and stop loss when you are trading so to set the OCO, when you go to the, you can either use OCO on the buying side or you can use it on the selling side. But most people use it on the selling side because for spot trading, you are mostly going to be buying. You click on limits and then you select OCO. 
Now, what does OCO mean? OCO simply means that you want to set a particular limit price and a stop limit. Limit price means the limit where you want your order to be executed. So if I wanted to sell the coins I bought at 2.030, I can set this order here. I can set an OCO at 2.050 right i'll set it at 2.050 that is where i want to sell but I, let's say the price went down to 2.030 and then it continued going down and i don't want to lose my money if the price keeps on going down so what will i do i can set a stop loss at 2.028 so if it gets to 2.028 what's going to happen is that it will automatically convert all my money back into usdt it will not hold my ftm again and that would mean that i'll be out of the trade and i will not lose any money right or i'll just lose like a few cents i won't lose that much money depending on how many ftm i i initially bought so you set your stop limit for the limit also you can also put the same price or just maybe one unit less than it two seven and then i will say i want to sell my 20 ftm right so this is exactly how you go about setting it if you don't understand please pause the video and watch it again slowly to understand the idea but it's pretty easy once you've done it a few times you would know how to go about doing it so that is the simple tutorial on how to go about buying and selling your cryptos thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one